Today we are going to frame some tan canvas pictures. So when I do this, I usually start out with this cheap wood from, um, I get mine from Home Depot, but these are like a dollar for eight feet of this. They're very crooked usually. Um, so you have to go through a lot of them, but being only a dollar um, for eight feet, I'm willing to, to go through them and then clean them up later. Okay, so now we're gonna do all four sides on the, the jointer here. I know it's not really technically correct as it doesn't actually get them square square, but I'm just trying to clean them up a little bit, get them, get them looking a little nicer before we staple the canvas to them. So here we are complete. Um, I think I have all my boards done. So we're gonna start with this. It's one in a set of three. This is one of the side ones. So I'm just gonna lay this out on the front of the picture and make sure everything's the right size or approximately the right size. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my content, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now that we have all the picture frames done, it's time to start actually putting the canvas on the frames. So these clamps I found, at least out of all the clamps I have, which isn't a huge number, I found have been the easiest to do. Make sure we have the right size frame. Now you can see through the canvas, you can see where the outline of the picture is. It's much easier on these canvases that have a dark or fairly dark outline. Um, so you can get it very close right off the get-go. You don't want any of the white edge showing on the front of the picture. So we're just going to start here. Okay, so after doing one side, we're going to come to the other side and do it second. The reason this is important is so that we, we get a good stretch this way on the canvas. I'm not going to stretch it super tight, but I need to stretch it enough to pull any creases. Hopefully there's no creases, but any like little folds or anything that's in the fabric out as well as it'll make it look significantly better if it's a little stretched um, after it's stapled. Okay, we're going to finish our clamping here. Pull this a little bit. Might have pulled this one a little bit too tight. I'm creating a little bit of a wave here. So we're going to loosen this one up a little bit. Okay. Let's do this side. Similar fashion. We're not going to pull on this side very much, just a very little bit. Um, we'll pull on the other side after we get this one clamped. So we'll give this one a little bit of tug. Then we'll look at it and see how it looks before we go ahead and start stapling anything. That looks good and should work. Okay, now it is time to staple. The first side is the easiest because. We already have everything lined up. We know it's fairly square in the picture frame, given that we have the clamps on here. We are just going to tack this on. Now this is doable with one person. It's a little bit easier with two, but you can do it with one person fairly easily. Okay, so I have this. We're gonna skip the corners for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top and then the sides. So now this side is a little bit harder. The first side's the easy side. There's no, no, Nothing to do uh, stretch wise. But the second side, we need to make sure we have a little bit of stretch on the, the canvas, um, which is still there from our clamps, but we just need to make sure it's good. I'm gonna take this clamp off, stretch it a little bit more with my fingers. This is 
similar to the first sidewalk. This one's pretty easy because we don't need to have a big stretch on the fabric right here. Okay, now for the final side, same as the second side, we're just gonna stretch the fabric a little bit. Try not to get any creases that we'll be able to see on the front side. Sometimes if you stretch one little portion too much, you can, it creates a little bit of a wave that you can see. Um, but we will do that and take a look. Now that the picture is on there, we just need to deal with the corners. So the easiest way to deal with the corners is you take your, your thing, you pretty much pinch it around the corner and then you'll lay it along one side and fold it back on top. This gives it a nice look. Sometimes you have to put two staples in depending on how it wants to unfold. I'm gonna do them all on the sides. So I did this one up, so we're gonna do this one up. Here is the completed picture. Building your own frames is easy and a great way to get canvas pictures for super cheap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.